Hey there. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I thought you might have. Welcome to the channel, and today we are customizing this Batmobile from Batman v Superman. The best Batman movie ever, by the way. We'll turn this piece of plastic into a piece of art. Now let's go. I have a screwdriver. Just gonna unscrew it. First thing we gotta do is split open this thing like a girl on prom night, you know what I'm saying? Just a few screws here and there, nothing big. And remember, even Batman always has a screwdriver handy because of his belt, you know? All right, I almost gotta open up at this point. It's gonna take things apart as much as possible as it'll make everything easier to paint. All right, nothing makes me feel more manly than taking something apart with no idea of what I'm doing. I was a little worried that the wheels would be attached to the plastic in some weird way, but it came out just fine. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna tell you just yet what we have planned for this. I want it to be a surprise. All right, so now we're going to prime everything. Here's one thing that I'm gonna regret about this. I really love this shade of uh, gray that they used. It's like kind of brown. It's like gray with like a tint of brown, but even though it looks cool and metallic and all, uh, it's going to be covered up by dry, br dry brushing anyways if I were to just dry brush this. So I'm going to just paint it gunmetal color, and it might look a little more edgy that way, but we'll see how it comes out. If not, I'll just track this down by another one or something. First things first, we gotta look up pictures of this beast of a Batmobile. But now that I'm looking at it, they just made it all black. What the heck? Right now we're applying primer onto the plastic. Primer helps the paint that we'll later use to stick on and bind better. All right, so we're just about done. It's almost primed. Looks more like a ghost mobile now. Hey. We're ready now to unload everything we've got onto this sucker. All right, so we did a bit of things off camera because I was too lazy to set up my camera, but we added some shading around the deep parts of the body and painted the wheels all black. So far, so good. Save Martha. Wait, no. Save Martha. Martha. Why did you say that name? Sorry for the sudden outburst uh, due to uh, childhood flashbacks. We're putting on the gunmetal color by Tamiya all over the Batmobile to give it its color. And the pre-shading we did earlier shows pretty well. If I do shook myself, I mean, say so myself. I did it. All right, a quick note. Pre-shading, if you're gonna do pre-shading with gunmetal, you gotta make it super, super dark. Because the pre-shading does show up on some spots, but it got covered up in other spots. And at the moment, we're just adding some more shadows by airbrushing some black onto it. And now it looks pretty radical. The shadows show pretty well and adds an overall edge lord look to it. I went and shaded a couple parts. Yeah. It might look ugly on camera, but in real life it looks good. Okay, take my word for it, okay? Now this is a Batmobile that looks like its parents got killed in an alleyway, okay? So this is Next step. Dry brushing is the name of the game. Basically acting like a 12-year-old who hit puberty and we're slapping our brush all over the place. And just so, like that, there's silver all over it. everything to give it a more metal and weathered good. look. Gaijin.
Alright, so I've added some dry brushing on the wheels to make it look like it's been, you know, going over dirt and stuff like that. It looks a little weird right now because it's all glossy, but when we do the uh, flat coat at the very end, I think it should all come together. Okay, next step. Okay, we gotta put it back together. Reverse engineering makes me feel smart. <laughs> To get into a bit more detail with dry brushing, you just smack some paint on your brush, wipe the brush so that it's dry, air quotes. See why it's called dry brushing? Anyways, you rub it all around, make it look all metal-like. It's also a good way to make your completely mediocre paint job come across cooler, since it hides all your mistakes. But sometimes, you overdo it, and make it look ugly, just like what I'm doing right now. All right, it's all dry brush, but it's, it's not enough silver. I'm gonna go ahead and get a paint brush and add some thicker paint on the areas I feel get hit the most. Patience and precision. I wanna make it look like Batman's been running into as much as he can, cause he can't drive worth a damn. I mean, did you see Batman v Superman? He ran into like every wall while chasing those guys. Alright, the final step after painting everything, uh, like the details and such, we're going to paint the panel lines. I personally use acrylic paint, so all I do is add a lot of thinner to some black paint, and then I just go ahead and drop it into the lines, and it fills up itself. I'm basically done at this point. I'm satisfied with it. Now it's time to apply a final top coat to blend everything together. I'm going to go with a flat and then I can show it off to my girlfriend just so she can point out every mistake I make and make me question my own abilities. There is so much a man can tell you so much he can say do you know the oldest lie in history, Senator? Shame my dad. You're not a man. Real men have courage or whatever the hell he says. Your parents probably taught you a different thing. My parents told me that the world doesn't make sense unless you force it to. Dying in an alleyway. Something like that. Do you bleed? Alright, so it's officially complete. Overall, I think it came out pretty good. There's a few spots to touch up on the tires, and I may have overdone the weathering just a tad bit. But if you hold it from a distance and squint a bit, it really looks mighty fine. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, pretty much.